Donna's with us in Detroit, Michigan. Hey, Donna, how are you? Good. How about you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Okay. My husband and I are going to be taking our financial peace class. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to be signing up and we start September 15th. Great. And I just reading a little bit. You said something about snowballing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just wondering, how would you do that when you could barely make your minimum payments on your credit cards? <laughs> Well, you can't. The first goal is to make your payments. And you got to eat, keep the lights on, make your bills. That's goal number one. But as you start getting your written budget going and get the details laid out on that, and you start figuring out, okay, we got to sell this thing. We got to have a garage sale. We may have to take an extra job. As you start doing some things like that to create some wiggle room in the math, then question number one is what's the first thing we do with that extra? money once we've made all of barely made all of our payments if there's an extra two hundred dollars an extra hundred dollars an extra ten dollars what are we going to do with it well your first goal is baby step one and that's save a thousand bucks okay that's your first goal get your beginner starter emergency fund and you throw everything at that until you get that And, and then once you've done that then you start your debt snowball and your debt snowball, okay. meaning that you, um, you're going to list your debts, not counting your home, smallest to largest, and you pay minimum payments on everything but the little one, and you attack the little one, and you work your way up. Now, uh, what, what, how much debt do you have? Uh, <laughs> well, just in credit card debt um, and an equity loan, 71000 Okay. All right. And what is your home worth? Um, uh, with this, um, we're just trying to figure that out. I think about, um, 210. Okay. And how much is your first mortgage? Um, around like 168,000. 168 or 58? 168. 68. We on it. Okay. And yep, then how the, much is the equity loan? Uh, 25,000. Okay. And what's your household income? His is, um, about 110,000. Okay. Do you have an income? Um, I'm trying. I don't have an education education, so mm-hmm. I'm trying to go out there and clean houses. <laughs> okay, good for you. Good for you. But for now, we got a hundred and ten thousand dollar income. You got twenty five thousand dollars in home equity loan, and how much credit card debt does that mean you have? That's seventy one thousand. Seventy one was including the home equity, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so. Yes. 25 off of that means we've got about 45 or 46 in credit cards. Does, does that sound right? Yes. Okay. What are you buying with those? What caused that? Uh, big long story. I, I, our whole marriage, 16 years, my husband has a <laughs> spending problem. <laughs> okay. On CDs and going out. Going no, out. He, do, he doesn't have a spending problem. He just is a spending problem would be a psychological problem and you'd be bankrupt after 20 years. He has, okay. he has, he has a no game plan. He has no budget, no limit. And he never says no to little stuff, but uh, little stuff can mount up over 20 years to 46 grand. Yes. Now, is he going to the class with you? Yes. He's Good. planning on it as Good. long as he doesn't have to travel. Good. Well, you get CDs in the kit, as you know, and while he's traveling, if he's not in the class, he's listening to the CD. Okay. And you, you join up in Financial Peace University Central, and which is our computer. You know, you hook up online with us as well when you're in the class, and you can go back and rewatch if you need to rewatch a lesson. So he can get access to the material, even if he's on the road. He needs to do it with you. That's very, very important. Okay. Don't let him up. Don't let him off the hook, because he'll plan a trip every night. There's a class if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think he'll do that. I think he's pretty good. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, because once you guys get on a plan, you're not buying any more CDs. You're not well, going out I, to I, eat. I, you're not going no. on vacation. No, we've we've cut that out. You're not going to have a life until you get this mess cleaned up. I know, and I'm a nervous wreck. (laughs) Well, you're going to get it cleaned up. The numbers you're giving me are doable, but you're going to have to really cut your lifestyle down to scorched earth. Nothing. Bare bones. Beans and rice. Rice and beans. And then you start knocking off some of those credit cards. Now, you get all those credit cards out. and You can go ahead and cut them up before class starts if you want. Okay, we already did that. Good. Well, you're on track. You're making decisions. You're thinking right. 
as we lay it all out, you're going to find room in your budget to do these things. And I think you can pay off the home equity loan and the credit card debt, 71000 making 110 in about two years. But you're going to have no life during that two years. It's going to be an awful two years. It's going to be a glorious two years because you're going to change your whole freaking life. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.